Welcome back to Gill Coliseum on campus at Oregon State University. You're watching the Pac-10 Women's Gymnastics Championships on FSN. To the floor exercise, and the last for Stanford is Tabitha Yim. A big night and a big smile to match it, but she needs a number here to catch Kay Richardson. She needs a 9.825 in order to catch Kate Richardson in the all-around. Nice opening tumbling line. Would they have told her the number she needs before she goes no, out? No, not a, no. This is for the team to tumbling front series. Boy, she's going quickly. Dynamo on floor exercise. She's had two opening tumbling lines back to back. Fourth on the bars, fourth on the vault. And she anchors floor exercise, so this is their top performer. And remember, she's going to win game with a 9.975, too. That's why she's in the position she is right now. And a good score from Tabitha could also give Stanford the lead over UCLA. As a team, they need a 48.975, and they've done better than that this year. Crowd responding to Chrissy Lehman of Oregon State. Good effort on the beam. This is where the meet is right now with Tabitha Yim on the floor. Trying to catch the amazing Kate Richardson of UCLA. And look at her teammates right in her ears and right behind her on the tumbling run. Beautiful tumbling line, solid landing. That's a good night. That's a very good night. That's a solid routine, and her teammates are excited. <laughs> they know what this means. <laughs> oh, that's terrific. You know, it's funny. It's not that UCLA has come down. It's teams like Arizona State and Stanford have caught up, and Oregon State is only maybe a half step behind them. They're right on the tails. Kristen Smith, the Stanford head coach, in the middle of the circle. We're talking about what a good weekend it was in Corvallis for this group. Tap at the Yim in the middle, talking them up. <laughs> well, the last time that Stanford was here, they didn't have so good of a meet. They've had a great meet tonight. We will wait to see. Remember, Yim needed a 9.825 to tie Richardson. 9.825. What do you think? Oh, I think she can do it. I'm seeing a few 9.9s around the room. Well, that's a huge number right there. And that is not our official mark yet. Preliminary marks. Take a look at the last few seconds of this routine as she was polishing it off. Her last tumbling line, a perfect stick on that front layout. And look, she knows wow. it right there, and then she just finishes it here. Bang. <laughs> Big smile. Can't wait to get up. 9925 for Tabitha Yim, and she celebrates. Oh, what a great effort. Tabitha Yim will win the all-around. Comes from nowhere. Stanford is in the team hunt. We'll see if the Cardinal beats UCLA for the title. How about a clutch performance by Tabitha Yim? Wow. She, she knew what was on the line and at stake when she stepped out there, and she just let it happen. So Stanford is your Pac-10 champions for 2006. They celebrate loud enough they can hear them all the way back on the farm. We'll return to Corvallis and wrap things up. The Pac-10 Women's Gymnastics Championships on FSN. Back in Corvallis inside Guild Coliseum, the Pac-10 Gymnastics Championships, Stanford, where they come from behind victory, and it was won on the final event by the final competitor, Tabitha Yim, on the floor. She joins Judy right now. Tabitha, congratulations. Did you know what you needed in order to win the all-around? Did you know what score? Um, actually, no, I had no idea what score I needed. Um, our team doesn't really look at the scores when we're competing, so we just try to do our best and see where we end up. So you win the all-around with your career high. 
yeah, it was pretty exciting. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to do it without any of the girls right behind me here. Um, I owe it all to my teammates. They're the best, and I, I just love them. And not only did you win the all-around, but you helped the team. Um, I don't really know if we won or not. Did we win? You won! Oh my gosh, that's so exciting, yeah. I mean, we've been working really hard this whole season leading up to this meet, and we tried to just put it all together, and I mean, we could still improve, but we're just really excited. Congratulations! Thank you so much. A great night for Tabitha Yim. She won the beam. She was fourth on the vault, fourth on the bars, and came back a clutch performance in the floor to win the all-round and hand her teammates the Pac-10 championship. So the Stanford Cardinal wins the Pac-10 championship. It is the fourth Pac-10 title for the Stanford Cardinal. Congratulations to them coming from behind to do it. The final event, the final competitor as they nose in front of UCLA. Oregon State was third on their home floor. Arizona State, Arizona, Washington, and California in seventh. Your individual champions, the all-around Tabitha Yim. And what a night it was for her. Tabitha Yim with that great floor exercise to win not only the all-around, but the team championship as well for Stanford. Tasha Smith of Oregon State wins two events, the vault and the floor of the beam. Also won by Tabitha Yim. And Liz Tricas of Stanford is your bars champion. Your year-end awards, gymnast of the year, no surprise here, Kate Richardson. Kate the Great, the amazing Kate Richardson, well-deserved. Freshman of the year, Ariana Berlin, maybe the best story in women's gymnastics this year. Coming back from that car accident in 2001 is all the way back, and now the walk-on has earned a scholarship from Valerie Condos Field. Jamie Lands from Morgan State sharing that freshman of the year and the co-coaches of the year, John Spini of Arizona State and Kristen Smith of Stanford. That is going to do it for us. For your producer, Lori Brooks, your director, Tim Lyon, of course, for Judy Corwin. I'm Jim Watson saying so long from Corvallis, side of the Pac-10 Women's Gymnastics Championships for 2006. Stanford wins it. Now it's on to regionals.